Welcome to the Lunar South Pole Showdown. Today we will take you on a journey to the most mysterious and unexplored region of the Moon. We are about to witness the thrilling race between two ambitious space missions, Chandrayaan-3 from India, and Luna 25 from Russia. Who will be the first to land and explore the Lunar South Pole? What secrets will they uncover? And what challenges will they face? Let's find out. The Lunar South Pole is a fascinating place. Unlike the equatorial regions of the Moon, where day and night last for about two weeks each, the South Pole experiences constant sunlight and darkness in different areas. This creates extreme temperature variations, ranging from minus 230 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius. The South Pole also hosts some of the largest and deepest craters in the solar system, some of which are permanently shadowed and may contain water ice and other valuable resources. The South Pole is also a strategic location for future human exploration and settlement, as it offers potential sources of energy, water, and shelter. However, the lunar South Pole is also a very challenging place to reach and explore. The terrain is rugged and complex, with high mountains, steep slopes, and rough boulders. The communication with Earth is limited and intermittent, due to the low elevation of the horizon. The landing site selection is critical, as it must balance the scientific interest, the illumination conditions, and the safety factors. The landing itself is a risky maneuver, as it requires precise navigation, guidance, and control. And once on the surface, the mission must survive and operate in harsh environmental conditions. Despite these challenges, two space agencies have decided to take on this daring adventure, India's ISRO and Russia's Roscosmos. Both have launched their respective lunar missions in 2023, aiming to land near the south pole of the Moon. Both have invested significant resources and efforts in developing their spacecrafts and instruments. And both have high hopes and expectations for their mission's success. But who are these space rivals? And what are their mission's objectives and features? Let's take a closer look at each of them. Chandrayaan-3 is India's third lunar mission, following Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan means moon vehicle in Sanskrit, and reflects India's aspiration to become a major player in space exploration. Chandrayaan-3 consists of two modules, a lander named Vikram meaning valor and a rover named Pragyan meaning wisdom. Both modules carry scientific instruments to study the lunar surface and environment. Chandrayaan-3 was launched on July 14, 2023, from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, India, using a GSLV MK3 rocket. This rocket is India's most powerful launcher, capable of lifting up to 10 tons to low Earth orbit. Chandrayaan-3 entered lunar orbit on August 5, 2023, after performing several orbit-raising maneuvers around Earth. It then lowered its orbit gradually until reaching a circular orbit of about 100 kilometers above the Moon. Chandrayaan-3 is targeting a landing site near the south pole of the Moon. This site was chosen because it offers good illumination conditions for solar power generation, as well as scientific interest for exploring the polar region. Chandrayaan-3 is expected to attempt a landing on August 23, 2023, using its four throttleable engines to perform a soft landing. Chandrayaan-3's lander Vikram has a mass of about 1.4 tons and carries four instruments, a camera, a seismometer, a thermal probe, and a Langyo probe. The camera will capture images of the landing site, and its surroundings. The seismometer will measure the seismic activity on the Moon. The thermal probe will measure the temperature profile of the lunar soil up to 10 cm depth. And the Langyo probe will measure the plasma density and temperature near the surface. Chandrayaan-3's rover Pragyan, has a mass of about 27 kilograms and carries two instruments, an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer and a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope. 
The APXS will measure the elemental composition of the lunar rocks and soil. The LIBS will measure the chemical composition of the lunar rocks and soil using laser pulses. Chandrayaan-3 is solar-powered and has a mission lifetime of one lunar daytime, around 14 Earth days. During this time, it will communicate with Earth via an Indian orbiter called Chandrayaan-2, which was launched in 2019 and is still operational. Chandrayaan-3 aims to demonstrate end-to-end -end landing and roving capabilities, as well as to analyze the lunar soil's chemistry. Luna 25 is Russia's first lunar mission since 1976, when it launched Luna 24, a sample return mission. Luna means moon in Latin, and reflects Russia's long and rich history of lunar exploration. Luna 25 consists of only a lander module, which carries scientific instruments to study the lunar surface and environment. Luna 25 was launched on August 11, 2023, from the Vostokny Cosmodrome in Russia's Far East, using a Soyuz rocket. This rocket is Russia's most reliable and versatile launcher, capable of lifting up to 8.5 tons to low Earth orbit. Luna 25 took a more direct route to the Moon, using a trans-lunar injection maneuver to escape Earth's gravity. It then entered a highly elliptical orbit around the Moon, with a periapsis of about 15 km and an apoapsis of about 5,000 km. Luna 25 is targeting a landing site inside the Bogoslawski crater, near the south pole of the Moon. This site was chosen because it is one of the few places on the Moon where water ice has been detected by remote sensing. Luna 25 was supposed to attempt landing on August 21, 2023, using its main engine and four attitude control thrusters to perform a soft landing however some emergency situation occurred due to which this may not be happening. Luna 25's lander has a mass of about 1.8 tons and carries nine instruments, a camera, a penetrometer, a drill, a neutron detector, a dust detector, a magnetometer, an infrared spectrometer, a laser retroreflector, and a radio beacon. The camera will capture images of the landing site, and its surroundings. The penetrometer will measure the mechanical properties of the lunar regolith up to 1 meter depth. The drill will collect soil samples up to 2 meters depth. The neutron detector will measure the hydrogen content of the lunar regolith. The dust detector will measure the dust particles near the surface. The magnetometer will measure the magnetic field near the surface. The infrared spectrometer will measure the mineral composition of the lunar regolith. The laser retroreflector will reflect laser beams from Earth for precise positioning and ranging. And the radio beacon will transmit signals for radio science experiments. Luna 25 has a radioisotope thermoelectric generator that will supply heat and power for at least a year. During this time, it will communicate with Earth via two Russian ground stations, one in Bear Lakes near Moscow and one in Ussurysk near Vladivostok. Luna 25 aims to explore the composition of the polar regolith, as well as the plasma and dust components of the lunar polar exosphere. As you can see, Chandrayaan-3 and Luna 25 are very different missions, with different objectives and features. But they also have some similarities, they both are aiming to land near the south pole of the Moon. It will be an incredible achievement for India and Russia if they can be the first to land on the UN Explored South Pole. The Lunar South Pole Showdown is about to begin. Who will be the first to land and explore this mysterious region? What secrets will they uncover? And what challenges will they face? This is the time we witness the thrilling landing attempts of Chandrayaan-3 and Luna 25. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe.